after the sensational incident of over 300 passengers escaping mandatory COVID testing at Silja Airport. District authorities have lodged an fire against a total of 395 persons. The Kachar District Administration has listed out a total of 395 persons who escaped mandatory COVID testing and action would be taken against them. While well, speaking exclusively to Northeast Life, Kachar District Ad Additional Magistrate Sumit Satwan stated that he has already written a letter to the Kachar District Superintendent of Police and lodged a formal FIR with the police. He has well stated that all the violators would be tracked down, made to undergo the necessary COVID test and also face legal action for what they have done. He has well said that the list of names of the violators would be sent to the Kachar District SP and then they would trace down the names immediately. He also stated here that the authorities are continuing with their efforts to conduct stringent COVID testing at the airport and railway stations for all passengers who are still arriving. It's not a less number, it's oh, yeah. 300 people who escaped and uh, without doing the testings. So what are the status and what steps you are going to take now? Uh, yesterday after the incident, we have uh, collected the details of all the passengers uh, from the flight operators. And uh, after receiving those details, we have compiled uh, the list of uh, people who have been exempted as per the SOP and those uh, who had been tested and finally we have uh, compiled the final list. We have also obtained the details, personal details of those people from the uh, flight operators officially and uh, uh, that list has now been sent over to the police administration and uh, district administration, police administration will jointly be tracing those people and our first priority will be to ensure that those people get themselves tested and uh, secondly because they have violated uh, government norms at the time at such critical times where we expect our uh, citizens to be more responsible uh, at such times uh, we obviously will be taking action against all those people who have evaded our uh, uh, sop and uh, accordingly a uh, case will be filed by police uh, under relevant sections so sir uh, as we know that the number is high so it will be a higher task for you to get the number what is your assumption like f within how many days you will track down these people and the testings will be done or any action will be taken against them action certainly will be taken uh, as far as number of days is concerned uh, uh, it has to be completed at the earliest possible reason being ki we cannot allow we cannot be uh, sitting peacefully, uh, assuming 300 people from outside are roaming around without getting themselves tested. So they might be a potential uh, carriers uh, because uh, yesterday we tested around 189 people out of which uh, six uh, turned out to be positive. So a mere statistical extrapolation might say that there might be at least three, four more uh, uh, carriers amongst the, those people who have evaded. And about the contract tracing, because they might have used some route, may have met the people to, uh, uh, you know, to go back to their own uh, individual places. Yes, contact tracing will certainly take place as per the uh, standard contact tracing uh, protocol. Once uh, anybody turns out to be positive, so that will be taken care of. So we had a talk with Sumit Satyavan IAS, uh, who is handling the matter, and we have seen that as the days are going on, the pressure is immense on the shoulder of the administration, and also they are urging for the people that they should come voluntarily for uh, their own testings. You are watching Nautisla with camera person Bidhi Das. I am Vikram Sarkar from Silchar.